In this video, we're going to discuss the switch timed behavior. All right, so I've set up a little scenario here. I guess this would be like an abandoned mine shaft. And at the end here, I've set up a little treasure room. So you can see there's treasure inside, but the door is jammed, can't get inside. We got to figure out how do we get inside there and get our treasure. So we're just going to look around for something that can help us out. And lo and behold, there's a switch right here. So if we pull this switch, yay! Oh no, the door closed almost immediately. So we got to be really quick. So we're going to pull it again and run, 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 run. Oh, we just made it before the door closed. So we got inside. So now we have access to all this treasure. But these poor guys apparently couldn't find their way out. So I've added a little switch here and that'll open the door back up so we can get back out. So it's a cool little way to make like a trap of some sort. It doesn't have to be a door. It can be really anything. Uh, let's take a look and see how that works. So here is the switch timed. Another way of saying that is a timed switch, right? So it's a switch just like any other switch, but it has a timer on it. And then when that timer elapses, then it triggers it back. It toggles it back to, to reverse whatever it opened up to begin with. Uh, really simple to set up. Use range, just how close do you have to be to the object in order to interact with it, uh, whatever the switch is. E to use, prompt uh, display, local and screen. What that means is local means local to the object. So in other words, close by or near the object. If you choose screen, it'll be at the bottom of the screen, bottom center of the screen. So your, your choice. Um, for smaller objects, I find screen is better. Then we have the reset delay. So this is kind of the bread and butter of the time switch, or switch, uh, switch time behaviors, because uh, how long will it uh, take before it uh, switches back to whatever it was before? Uh, but that's in seconds, obviously. And then we have uh, item highlight. I did a video recently on item highlight and kind of explains the difference. I'll put a link right here. Uh, so you can go take a look at that uh, and then we have the sound which of course is what gets played when it's when the object when the uh, switch is switched um, and then it plays it again when the switch is reversed uh, but that's it that's the switch timed behavior uh, if you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new please be sure to click the like button down below that helps me out a lot it really does uh, if you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you stick around. Please be sure to subscribe. And lastly, if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos are posted, just click the bell icon and that'll let you know when a new video is ready. Uh, thanks so much for watching all the way through. I always appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, don't forget there's a written guide for every behavior, including ones I haven't yet uh, covered on this channel. And if you want to learn some more, why don't you check out this video next?